Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, we're back out here. I'm getting some more work on the Spitfire done. Seems to be the common theme for the videos on this channel lately. Yeah, my opening line, I'm working on the Spitfire again. Well, um, last weekend or so, I've actually got a, a fair bit accomplished on this car, finally. So I'm going to go over some of the things that I have gotten done on it, and other things that I have discovered that needed to be done, and you know, we'll go from there. Again, I apologize about the lighting. It's a little better, but down here is kind of hard to see stuff. Um, I'd initially gotten the engine back in, got the radiator hooked up. I haven't filled it up yet or nothing, but I got everything hooked up and I was not getting any spark whatsoever. Uh, the culprit, um, I put the Crane Cans XR700 ignition module out of the 77 over there into here because this is the engine out of the 77 and at the time I had the distributor uh, for the 77 here and they had a different uh, connection so I was like okay you know I'll just put the XR700 in and you know everything will be good right? wrong the uh, turns out the XR700 ignition um, was no good as the reason I was not getting spark I put my distributor out of the engine that originally came in this car. So I taken the distributor out of the original 1500 over there and I stuck it into this engine and put the original Lucas electronic ignition back in. So after that I got spark. So great, awesome. So uh, I tried to fire it up, nothing, nothing just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. And I took the fuel line off over there and it was dry. There was no gasket into the car. So I came to the conclusion that the original uh, mechanical fuel pump down here was no good. It wasn't pumping, wasn't doing its job. So I hooked in <laughs> the electric fuel pump that was on this car when I first bought it. I put it back on, got it all hooked back up. Got fuel to the carbs, have spark, great. It actually fired up and ran for a few seconds. But, you know, I was sitting here playing with the ground because I couldn't find a good ground at the time. So I'd, I, you know, I used this little stud here, put the ground on it, get it to run, get the pump to run for like a second or two, fire up the car, and it actually ran until it ran the fuel out of the bowl. So I finally found a good ground for the fuel pump, got in the car, you know, and all, and went to go turn the key on, starter locked up. So, I've been having a very fun time <laughs> with this car, just one thing after another. So, today, I'm changing out the starter. It's, uh, it's, 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 been, it's been quite an experience, I'd say. You know, I, I get one thing done, it's like, great, I got it. It's going to run now. Turn, you know, turn the key? No, something else is wrong. Fix that. Get it run for a few seconds. Awesome, I'm getting excited. Yeah, find a good ground for the fuel pump. Everything's great. Turn the key. Choo, choo, choo. Yeah, at that point, that's, that, that, that's the, about the time that you feel like taking your head and bashing it into the concrete floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, at that point, I started getting a little aggravating. But I, I got two other starters, you know, laying around. You know, one out of the 77, one out of my old 79. They're both good starters. Actually, I think this is the starter out of the 77 to tell you the honest truth, uh, I got the original starter for the 79, uh, for the 79 and my 78. So I'm going to put one of them in, that should solve the problem and I should be able to fire it up and let it run. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the, the cooling system topped up. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything to let it run for a few seconds or whatever without cooling, but you don't want to let it run, you know, much more than that. You know, you don't want to let it sit here and run for five minutes with no cooling. Other than that, um, the other thing that I did was on, you know, the, as far as the electrical for the car goes, it has no running lights. You can hit the switch there, you get headlights, but no running lights. So I figured, well, maybe it's just in the switch. So I replaced, I replaced the headlight switch with a brand new one. Um, guess what? Same problem. Still have no running lights. <laughs> So it is an electrical issue, and I'm, you know, I need to basically pull the centerpiece of the centerpiece of the dash out, which is already unscrewed, and you know, as you see, it comes down very easily to expose some of the wiring. But I'm gonna have to run it 
you know, might have to run it all the way back up in there and basically check every wire, every connection, and, you know, any wire that maybe run under the carpet, you know, I'll have to check that, you know, going to the back, you know, to the front, but I suspect that it may be in this main loom somewhere. I did find evidence in the trunk of a wire that had been chewed up uh, by a rodent. So it is very possible that a rodent may have gotten up inside the dash, you know, with it sitting for 23 years and maybe chewed up a couple wires in there as well. So, you know, so I just need, basically need to trace all that down and figure that out. So without much further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on pulling this thing uh, starter out and getting another starter in and hopefully we can turn the key on the Spitfire and fire it up and it'll actually you know keep running well, as you can see by the shirt uh, this is a different day than when I initially recorded the beginning of the video so but I got the starter in I had to uh, remove the oil filter so I'll just put a new oil filter on I had to remove the oil filter and the oil pressure switch in order to get enough clearance to get the the starter you know out to you know go you know slide far enough back to get it out so i'll show you what i mean yeah down here we got the this is the starter that actually came with my 78 when i bought it and and all i never had any issues out of it so i put it back in and it works beautifully and stuff but yeah i had to remove the oil filter and the oil pressure switch to be able to get it slid far enough back up into here to pull the nose of the starter out basically underneath all this between that and the, the the shaft for the steering column so but that's in electric fuel pump is hooked up uh, I have coolant in the radiator so check this out all right Now, it isn't running fully smoothly yet. You know, uh, I probably do need to adjust the timing because I haven't done that yet, but it runs. And you can see out there, I don't know if you can see it or not, it is blowing some smoke. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be blue smoke. It's just uh, blue, blue smoke would indicate that there's oil getting into the combustion chamber and burning oil. Uh, this is not blue smoke. Um, it smells really rich of gas. So it's probably the air fuel mixture. Uh, this carburetor has been sitting for a while. So carburetor set, they deteriorate. Not a big issue. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put the carburetor that was on the other engine on this one because that one run beautifully, had no mixture problems. And, you know, hopefully I put that on and that will clear that problem up. It's just it's just an air fuel mixture. It's something in the carburetor. You know, like I said, on, on top of the smoke, you know, it, you know, there's a really strong smell of gas. So that, le that would lead me to believe it's, it's something in the carb. But, you know, hey... <laughs> I'm excited. It runs. It doesn't run perfect yet, but it it runs. So, you know, yeah, this is what I've been working towards. <laughs> you know, it's not quite ready to take it on the road yet. I gotta get I gotta get the the smoking and the auto problem taken care of, and you know, I should have that done by next weekend. It's real. It should be a fairly simple, you know, fix and whatnot. So. Hopefully by next weekend, I'll have some video footage of the car rolling down the road. So, you know, uh, that, that's all I got for this one. You know, like I said, I'm excited. It actually starts up. It runs. It's just, you know, there's just a couple of more things that need to be tweaked and, you know, adjusted. So, but that's all I got for this one, guys. You know, subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date when I post new videos. Leave some comments down below if you want. And as always, I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch my videos. Until next time. Keep them on the road.